things you will need for the poisonous candy apples. You will need light corn syrup, your choice of any type of alcoholic beverage. We decided to use apple twisted gin. You will need pure cane granulated sugar. You also could use red food coloring or you can use hot tamale cinnamon candies, but we're gonna use red food dye today. Also, you need the main ingredient, the apples. Next you will need is the candy sticks. And these can be purchased at any craft store, grocery store, any place like that. So, to start off your candy apples, the first thing you have to do is soak the apples in the alcohol. Alright, so step one is to get your alcohol and then pour it into a bowl right here, like this. Alright, once that is done, then the second step is to remove the stems and drop them into the alcohol. And you're gonna let these soak for uh, from six hours to just overnight. So okay. these apple apples in the alcohol, um, it'll absorb the alcohol. So when people take a bite, it's almost like taking a shot. So this is the perfect party favor for any college party. Next step after soaking your apples for uh, six to 24 hours, you're gonna take them out of the pot and begin to dry them off. All right, so then after you dry them off, you have a, you get a tray, and then you s you'll spray it with a non-stick uh, pan spray, like this. That way it will keep the candy apples from sticking to the pan. And so after you spray it, you will take the apple, that you dried off and you will uh, put the stick through the top of where you remove the stem like this and then you'll place it in the pan step three you're going to make the hard candy for the candy apples the first part you'll need one cup of corn syrup, three-fourth cup of water, and two cups of granulated sugar. And for those of you using the food dye, you need a three-fourth teaspoon of syrup. To make it all nice and red. So with all the ingredients in here and the flame turned on, we just leave it up for to boil for 20 to 25 minutes. And make sure you guys do not stir. This is one of the common misconceptions. All right, guys. Now that it's done and completed boiling, you will see that it's a little bubbly right now. So we're gonna dip our apple and we're gonna go around. Just get a good, nice, thick coat on it. Just keep going around around and around so you get your nice thick coat on it you can make it as thick as you like okay so next thing you do is just sit it down onto the pan that you had let it dry and then you just continue to do the rest of the apples once you have coated all the candy apples. It should look like this. You should see that it's starting to get hard within five minutes, but the best result is to leave it out for 24 hours so that they're nice and hard and nice and crunchy. You can either leave them room temperature or you can refrigerate them. It's whatever your preference is. Thanks for watching.